Yep. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Hey everyone, you may have spotted some changes in YouTube channels lately, and I'm excited to announce that I'm now collaborating with Melikin DE on a shared YouTube channel. If you've been following my original channel, Sun Tzu Legacy, you know that it encountered strikes due to false copyright claims. This occurred when any mention of a specific individual's name, profile picture, or website from an open source domain led to an unwarranted copyright Ooh. strike. However, together with Melikin DE, we're all set to unveil an extraordinary tutorial featuring the most effective melon pumpkin farm known as the black cat melon and pumpkin farm for those farming melons using the updated 3.0 melon dicer you have a potential to earn up to 15.6 million coins per hour currently this is the peak earning rate for garden farming i want to give a special shout out to melon king de and agitated snake 92 the creative minds behind the farm's design now without further delay let's dive into the farming tutorial as we initiate this tutorial, it is crucial to note that our farming layout will be created from the east to the west direction, spanning from plot 21 all the way to plot 22. So while farming this plot, we will be facing towards the south, and you can easily see that by pressing F3. We'll be building to the east and we'll be farming to the south. This is a pivotal point to keep in mind since non-compliance with these instructions will result in challenges while positioning the ladders with the help of your builder's ruler. If you do not follow these specific instructions within this video, you will need to place the ladders by hand, which is commonly known as downtime, a farmer's greatest enemy. Starting with our builder's ruler and soul sand, we'll place the first soul sand on the very edge, like such. We're going to give it a two block gap and place an additional soul sand. From there, we're going to do a three block gap and place an additional soul sand. From here, we're going to adopt a pattern where we're going to place, have a two block gap and soul sand, have another two block gap and place soul sand, and then we're going to have a three block gap and place soul sand. From here, we're going to do this pattern two more times. So we're going to place a two block gap, soul sand, two block gap soul sand and a three block gap in soul sand. And then we're gonna place a two block gap in soul sand, have another two block gap in soul sand and have a three block gap with soul sand. From here, you should have 12 rows of soul sand. For those at garden level 10 or above, you should comfortably accommodate 12 rows of soul sand in this layout. In terms of duration, this farm will serve you approximately 14 minutes and 24 seconds. Although this is dependent on your proficiency at swapping lanes. The next step is placing a scaffold block something that you could easily break and fly at the same time and you can place a infinite dirt wand above it to place dirt from here we're going to place two tnt and the two block gap and from here we're going to place two tnt just like such while leaving the third row blank this is very important to note that we're placing two tnt on the edge just like such. From here, we're gonna grab our builder's ruler with a infinity dirt wand in it. And we're gonna tap on top of the TNT, just like such. Now, when we get to this empty row, we're gonna place dirt just like that. So you have a T method. The next step would take a prismarine pump and place it on top of the soul sand. It is very important to note that you need to ensure that all the water blocks that you have placed are actually source blocks. And if you need to fix it, like we have a case here, you could place prismarine pump here, take your infinite uh, magical water bucket and ensure that the, it is a complete source block. From here, we can start placing the trap doors. You're only gonna need six trap doors for the first layer. Now that we have our six stacks of trap doors, we can go ahead and move, turn our rancher boots to movement speed of 115 and place our trap doors down on the edge of the T that we created earlier. Now we can go through and close the trap doors. Now we place the water and close the trap doors. We're finished with the first layer. To build the second layer, we're gonna skip a dirt row and we're gonna add two TNT just like such. We're gonna skip a dirt block and add TNT and skip a dirt block and add TNT and we're going to continue this method all the way throughout the farm and from here we're going to take our builder's ruler and a dirt wand and place dirt on top of the TNT that we placed when we get to this dirt block we're going to add dirt on top of it and even with the TNT just like such. Now that we've placed the TNT, the dirt on top of all the TNT, we can go up by and break all the TNT that we've placed so far, because it's not needed anymore. Like I said, it's just a scaffolding block that you can easily break while flying over. So there's no time downtime of building it. From here, we're gonna place TNT right here, right in front of the trap doors that we placed. And then we're gonna take our builder's ruler, move our empty dirt one 
to the back and we're gonna place our ladders just like that. And now we can take our prismarine pump and place it right above the trap doors that we placed earlier, ensuring that the water goes all the way to the end. And now you're complete with the second layer of the farm. To start the third layer of the farm, we're gonna skip a dirt block and place two TNT. And then we're gonna skip a dirt block and place another TNT. However, once we get to the water, we are then gonna place TNT in a step method like that. And then we're gonna continue the method again. Skip a dirt block, place two TNT. Skip a dirt block, place two TNT. Skip a dirt block, place one TNT. And then when we get to the water, we're gonna make a step method just like that. We're gonna continue that method throughout the entire farm. Then we're gonna take our builder's rule and fill dirt one in the front and smack the TNT just like that. However, when we get to this, the step method, we're gonna go up two and over one, so it's even. So you should have an L shape right here. And then we can go through and break all the TNT that we had placed. Now from here, we can begin again this next step of placing trapdoors and ladders. Now to get started, we go to the two block gap and we're going to place our iron trapdoors. You're going to need only six stacks of iron trapdoors to get started. And you're going to place them right above the dirt block. So it should be the bottom dirt block that you made the L shape with. Once you're finished placing the trapdoors, you're then going to take your TNT and place it just like such in front of the trapdoors that you just got placed. From here, you're going to take your builder's ruler with the ladders, ensure that the, la the empty dirt one is at the end, and you're going to tap on top of the TNT just like that. And just like that, you can go ahead and delete the TNT just by hitting it. Once the trap door is displaced and you have the ladders placed, you're going to take your prismarine pump and place it directly on the trap doors, the iron trap doors that you placed earlier, ensuring that they went all the way to the end, just like that. The next step to do is take your whole greatest tilling and till all the right side of the dirt block. Congratulations, you are now 95% done on the farm. The next step is to do slash desk, configure plots, left click to modify, and you're gonna save the preset. Now, if you have too many saved like I do, you're gonna have to right click to delete a preset, and then you're gonna save the preset for plot 21. Uh, we're gonna call it New Melon Pumpkin Farm, and we're gonna pick a melon here. Now you're just gonna paste it all the way over to plot 22. To begin, we're gonna be placing our block of choice in the water just like such. However, when we get to the end of the water row, we're not gonna place a block there because we're gonna be running off there. Now to get started, we know we're gonna be farming that way. We're gonna run across and come over and then we need to get to the other side. So in order to do so, we're gonna have to break soul sand to soul sand. So let's go ahead and place our TNT just like that to stop the water from flowing. They are then going to break this trap door and water is going to flow down. We're going to take a dirt block and place it right above us to stop the water from flowing downwards. We're going to place TNT just like that and then we're going to break soul sand. As you can see, soul sand to soul sand is broken and the water has stopped flowing. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to place two TNT just like that and break one. And we're going to break soul sand to soul sand. As you can see, we're going to be running it that way. We're going to come back down run across, go through the water path, come back down, go through this water path, and we're gonna come back down. From here, we need to go over. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna place two TNT, just like we did earlier. We're gonna break one TNT, and we're gonna do the same, same thing over here. We're gonna take our shovel, and we're gonna break soul sand to soul sand. All right, we're gonna come across, we're gonna go up, and then we're gonna come back down, and we need to go break through. So we're gonna take our TNT, stop the water from flowing, same thing on this side, and we're gonna break soul sand to soul sand. Now, because we're going through here, we need to break this and the trap door. Because we broke the trap door, water's gonna flow down, and now we need to place a dirt block there to stop the water from flowing. Then we're gonna run over here, and then we're gonna come back across, and we need to break over. Simple thing, place two TNT, break one TNT, place two TNT, break one TNT, and then we are gonna break soul sand to soul sand. We're gonna run up, and then we're gonna run off. Now to finish this, we can now move to the next section of putting snow layers in this and then placing signs. Now that you've stopped the water from flowing by placing TNT in those areas and breaking soul, t soul sand to soul sand, we can now place our layers of snow. To craft layers of snow, you can buy uh, blocks of snow from the bazaar and you can craft them. So in order to do so, we now are going to place our layers of snow 
which layers of snow is a perfect block because it's the same height as soul sand. And then from there, you're gonna place your trap door on the andesite block, the polished andesite block that we placed earlier. Now that we've placed the snow blocks and placed the signs where they need to be, we can go ahead and break the TNT blocks. All right, now we need to make sure these water source blocks are actually source blocks. We can do so by taking a magical water bucket and placing it just like that. And now we can go ahead and work on the other side, plot 22. Now that we're at the very edge of plot 22, we can go ahead and start like we did last time and place our andesite block or your block of choice on the very edge of each water stream. Next, we're gonna break soul sand to soul sand. So we're gonna run across and we need to break through. So we're gonna break soul sand. First, we're gonna place two TNT blocks just like that and break one. Then we're gonna take our shovel and break soul sand to so sand. Then now we're gonna come over, run across, go up, and then we are need to take TNT, two TNT, just like that. Break the the one closest to you, and break soul sand to soul sand. Come over, up, and through. So we're gonna need two TNT. Just like that. Break soul sand to soul sand. We're gonna have to break this trap door. Water's gonna come down. We're gonna take our dirt block and stop the water from flowing down. We're gonna run up and then we're gonna come back down and we need to break through here. Again, we're gonna be placing snow right in front of the TNT. Then we're gonna take our sign, place it just like that. All right, now that we place the, the layers of snow on our signs, we can go ahead and break the TNT. Now, if you do this incorrectly, all your snow is going to be gone. So ensure that you place the signs before breaking the TNT. Take our magical water bucket, click on the edge of the farm, and just like that, the farm is complete. The only thing it needs left to do is actually placing the seeds on top of the farm. Also, food for thought, when you're farming and you seem to be glitched into the blocks on the sides, you can place trap doors just like this along the entire farm. And this will stop the issue from you glitching into the block. Now, if you don't have that issue, because some people do and some people don't, you can just keep the signs. Just ensure that these water blocks that you placed earlier are source blocks. It's very important when you get on placing the seeds from one plot, you TP to the end to place them on the other side. You want to do that as quick as possible because otherwise you're gonna have melons growing into melons. Once this is finished growing, I'll go ahead and show you how to farm. To make this farm slightly more efficient, you can go ahead and go to plot 21 and you see that there's a dirt block missing here. Fill that with a dirt block, break th this stem and that dirt block, those two dirt blocks. Place two dirt blocks here and then cut that. Take your whole greatest tilling and only till the first portion, and then take your seed and place your seed right back. Only on the edge of those four blocks. Now you go to your other side where there's a, a dirt block that's out of place, you break that, you place a dirt block there, you break these two dirt blocks and this dirt block. You're gonna place two other dirt blocks here and here, and you're gonna break these two dirt blocks. You're deal, then gonna till the first block and place a melon seed just like that. This is going to add more efficiency for when you're farming and you're going through this long portion of the farm by swapping lanes. You're going to break these two melon blocks so it's a little bit more efficient on the end blocks. Now let's do it to the other slide slash TP to plot 22. Should see it on here on the edge. So once again we're going to place a dirt block there. We're going to break this and this. We're going to till that and then we're gonna break these two melon. All right, from here, gonna place dirt there. We're gonna break this and this. Gonna till that and that, and place a seed here and here. Since we're on this side and this is the first layer that you have, that there's nothing above you, it is important to go ahead and place uh, dirt blocks just like such. And when you get done with that, you can go ahead and call the builder. Go to variety and select a melon head. From here, you can place a melon head there so you don't jump out of the water when swapping lanes. It will prevent you from jumping. This is very efficient so you don't jump out of the water. So how do we farm this farm? It's very simple. We're at starting at plot 21 and we are going to start by farming the farm here. In order to do so, let's go ahead and set our pitch and our yaw to zero. 
We can do so by doing slash tp to plot 21. From here, we're gonna fly up and over this farm without moving our mouse. And we're gonna slash set home. This is gonna save our position. We're then gonna move up and we're gonna set our yaw to zero, if you're going east to west, and our pitch to 58.5, 259. Once that is set, you can do slash set home, and that should be it. You could just go ahead and hit spacebar or whatever button you're using to break the melons and run. But first, let me go ahead and tell you how to set your rancher boots to 420 speed. We would go to a black cat pet. If you do not have a black cat, you can come to my island, and if I'm online, I can set your rancher boots to the speed of 420. You then, once that is set, you then will go to your pet of choice, either the elephant or the mushroom cow, and start farming. Side note, it is very important that you have Death Strider 2 for this farm. This is what you need to run on soul sand at a speed of 420 so you don't miss any melons. So once again, space bar, and run left. Now, if you do tend to drift, it's important to do slash TP to plot 21, run backwards like you saw I did before, and go all the way to the end, and just move your mouse up, upwards, and you should not be drifting at that point. And that is how you farm this farm. Thank you for your time, and thank you for allowing me to show you how to build the most efficient melon and pumpkin farm there is in High Visual Skyblock.